The city of Mission Viejo, along with the Mission Viejo Library, provide an abundance of resources to veterans. Our city has a value for our active duty and veteran, uh, who, veterans who have served in the military. That's really important to us to support them and value the, the work that they've given and their service and sacrifice. And libraries are a fantastic source of information, connecting people with resources, helping them navigate complex information needs, and that's what veteran services are like. There's so many different services and a lot of veterans we found out are not even getting all of the benefits for which they are eligible. So we really felt that it was important to provide resources for them, knowledgeable staff, people who can help them navigate those, get them connected with the resources that they've earned through their sacrifice and service. And it's really exciting for us to be able to provide this service in our community. I'd just like to thank the staff uh, they've been very supportive. Uh, this has been a concern of mine. Uh, it's been happening even before I, I came on council, but as the mayor, it, it means a lot to me being a veteran. And I get a lot of calls, emails from veterans within the city, so it makes it so much easier for me to request they just come to us instead of having to go outside the city. Resources through the city website include links to the California Veterans Resource Book and Federal Benefits for Veterans. On-site resources include Veterans Legal Institute, the Veterans Administration, CalVet, and SCORE, which helps launch small businesses. Here at the Mission Viejo Library, which I've been coming since, uh, well, it's been six years now, what the veteran would do is to get an appointment they would go to score114.org and there they will find a variety of different SCORE mentors with different skills. They have their bios on the website and they can select which mentor that they would like to mentor with, try to match what their needs are with what the SCORE skills might be. So I work for um, CalVet, uh, the California Department of Veterans Affairs, and uh, my title there is uh, Local Interagency Network Coordinator, or LINK for short. Um, my, job, my job involves a lot of outreach to the community in a range of ways, um, and one of those ways is certainly to do uh, direct outreach to veterans um, and then education on benefits and services, um, anywhere from student veterans to senior veterans. We want to cover the full range. And so this library outreach here is an important part of what we do. Um, you know, one of, the, one of the challenges we have in the veteran community is identifying, in some cases, veterans that need help. And there are cases where veterans will come into a library um, that may not have been able to identify or figure out a way to come to get to other veteran services centers. And so I'm able to meet um, veterans in that situation in, in a couple of cases uh, that I can think of very recently and a few others in the past and I'm um, able to provide them information on resources including housing resources, employment resources, mental health resources, um, federal and state benefits uh, related to education um, or service-connected disability compensation and health care um, and so a range of, of different benefits and services um, that uh, I'm able to help connect folks um, here at the library. The VA services that are offered at the Norman P. Murray Center are offered by the South Orange County Vet Center. We provide benefit counseling services. These appointments um, are to help veterans and their families navigate uh, veterans benefits, whether that's federal or state, as well as helping with local community resources um, for the community. The mission of Veterans Legal Institute is to help low-income veterans with uh, free legal services and tenant landlord uh, bankruptcy. Um, we also help with estate planning, limited family law, and we also help veterans with their VA benefits. Uh, we offer on-site monthly clinics at the City of Mission Viejo as well as Saddleback College here. Mission Viejo has one of the highest populations of veterans in the area, making it even more important to have local resources to make it easier to transition back to civilian life. You know, it's critical. We know right now 22 veterans a day commit suicide. PTSD is a huge issue. We have military that are doing multiple deployments. It's impacting their families. So we have a different trend going on in terms of what's happening with our military. So whatever we can do to support them and make sure that they know there's not only a caring community, but there's information and services out there to support. 
I come from a military family, um, and my brother-in-law is a, a Vietnam vet. So I've lived the military life, and I understand how hard it is and how difficult it can be. And once uh, the, the military people get out of the service, reintegrating into the community can be a challenge. So anything that we can do to make it easier for them, to connect them with the VA, uh, with uh, different community organizations that can help, we, we'd like to do. Materials and assistance for veterans are available at the Mission Viejo Library and the Norman P. Murray Center. Information is also available through cityofmissionviejo.org under services and guides.